Hello, I am Gabby Ackerman. I am the Business Development Director for Women in Payments, and I'm delighted today to be chatting with Barbara Thessa. Barbara is the Senior Vice President and Head of Consumer Products for Europe at MasterCard, and she's based in Paris. Welcome, Barbara. Perhaps we can start with a few words of introduction. Thank you so much. I'm delighted to be with all of you today. Thanks for the opportunities. So my name is Barbara Sessa. I am an Italian that lives in Paris since 2009, and I joined MasterCard in 2008. So 15 years of my career spent within this company. So this doesn't make me younger, right? And I'm currently leading a team of uh, product people working on consumer products. So our mission in a nutshell is to make every payment every day easier, smarter, and secure. Fantastic. Thank you, Barbara. For those of you, in, of you in our audience who are new to my career in six, we will start with a few uh, rapid fire questions, just looking for one word answers, followed by six more in-depth questions. Are you ready, Barbara? Ready to go. Great, let's go. Who or what inspires you? I'm inspired by the people that I met every day. Do you attribute your success to luck or hard work? I attribute my success to both. It's a mix of luck and hard work. What drives you? My passion for people and for new things. Favorite quote or motto you live by? Hmm. If your dream are not scaring you, they are not big enough. When applying for new opportunity, what percentage of required attributes do you feel you need in order to have a confident application? I look more on the quality than the quantity. So let me say that if you want to quantify 40%, then I go. The coolest payments company today. MasterCard, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. Now that we know a bit more about you, let's move on to the more in-depth questions about your journey. Yeah. What has been your biggest challenge as you climbed the ladder in the payments industry? One of the significant challenges I faced was really the number of innovation in, innovation in, um, in the payment industry. In fact, I think that today payment is really uh, an exciting right environment because you have so many innovation coming through but uh, this was also a challenge to face right because you will always be uh, you need to be curious right and to learn and, and to have a mindset that is set up to continue to learn learning by doing but continuing to learn so i think that this was one of the most important challenge i faced in the last years in the payment sector what do you feel has been your greatest accomplishment in your career? I think the fact that I have uh, been so resilient during my career and also to be a uh, right crazy enough or brave enough, <laughs> depend from which side you look at, to accept also completing your role and to starting from scratch, right? If there's one thing you could have done differently, what would that have been? Mm. I think that, uh, I don't know, may maybe the fact that, again, I started to try new things at a certain level of my career, right? When I was younger, I was an, uh, and I, in my mind, it was a linear idea of career. Career cannot be a linear, right? You need to move lateral. You need to do lateral move. You need to try new stuff. And so if I have to change something, I have to tell to myself younger, a hey, career is never linear. You have to try several things. How important have your networks and connections been in assisting your career in the payments landscape? It has been very important, not because you need a network only for a new job, but because you need a network to understand better, right? The ecosystem in which you work. And to me, networking is really working. So I invest a lot of energy in doing that, in meeting people, in listening from people, right? Because you learn every time something that you can reuse during your career journey. 
So it was very important to me to build a strong network and to meet so many people across right the region, different country, different culture. Amazing. As a senior female leader, how have you helped shape the culture of your current business? I have worked a lot to shape this. I am also right in Mastercard leading the Women Leadership Network for France. I am an advocate. I strongly believe that we have to create more opportunities for women to create right and balance in this society. I've been also, I have received an award very recently as a positive troublemaker that I like very much as an idea, right? To be, a, to be a troublemaker in a positive way. So I'm trying always to push female leader because I think that we need parity in this payment ecosystem. What advice would you give to aspiring women professionals in this industry? First of all, believe in yourself. You are already a role model. So believe in yourself. Embrace a mindset that allows you to continue to learn, right? Be resilient. But the most important advice is support other women. Only supporting each other, we will grow all together. So true. On that very inspiring note, thank you very much, Barbara, for sharing your career journey with us. And thank you all for listening. And I encourage you to join us online for the many other episodes of My Career in Six, where we chat with inspirational leaders from around the world of payments. Thank you. Thank you.